When I say I did not expect these results, I did not expect these results. Please, no basic zone. Happy New Year! What's good, Stitcher? Welcome and welcome back to another Slay with Stitchy. Happy, happy New Year to you guys. Happy 2022. I know it's been a little while. I haven't been on the camera, but in today's video, I'm going to be doing a full get ready with me. We're going to be glowing the F up. I mean, hair and makeup so if you guys are interested definitely stay tuned i'll also be tapping into where i've been because a lot has transpired since you guys last saw me on the cam which was the schmiss 2021 and we are now in 2022 so it is officially my first video for the new year and i wanted to just get on here do my makeup with you guys do my hair with you guys full closure wig install while also telling you guys where i've been what's been going on because a lot has transpired in these last few weeks so if you guys are interested definitely stay tuned before we start today's video off don't forget to leave your girl a big thumbs up subscribe down below to join the stush gang turn your post notifications on and don't forget to also follow me on instagram at the stush life to keep up with me on and off of youtube oh and before i forget did you guys like the new intro Drop a comment down below right now. Let me know how you guys are feeling the new intro. I did work on that when I was gone, so I definitely would like to know how you guys are feeling it. But yeah, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get right into this glow up. Okay, let's go ahead and get into this hair. I'm not gonna be talking through the hair process. I'm just gonna really try to focus and you know get it done because y'all know i'm not like a hair slayer or anything but i'm gonna get it done okay but i do want to just tell you guys a little bit about the hair really quickly it is coming from the aquino collection matter of fact let me get the cord not mind my nails because listen i'll talk to you guys more in the video as the video progresses but i'm really just getting my life in order for the new year even though it's like january 8th but it's fine so this is the card this is where the wig is coming from the aquino collection black owned woman owned caribbean owned business and i've purchased a wig from them in the past my curly wig was from them and i do believe i've installed it on camera so i'll leave that up above if you guys are interested in seeing that video but this is the wig that i picked up all the hair details are on this tag right here so let me just go ahead and tell you guys what it is so it is an 18 inch luau loose wave wig and i believe it is a five by five closure i didn't get a frontal because child i really just want to be able to slap this on when i need to go outside and just do what i need to do so um i feel like the closure is way easier to install and maintain versus a frontal so i went ahead and got so i went ahead and got a closure middle part and it is pretty much ready to wear um she has a lot of ready to wear wigs on her website and this is one of them so i went ahead and picked this one up so i have my wig cap already on there is a band sewed onto here so this should hopefully be an easy process i also have all my tools ready to be cranked on so let me just go ahead and cut this stuff off let me get my scissor okay i'm gonna go ahead and put the wig on and i'm gonna go ahead and insert some music so you guys can listen to that but i don't think that i'm actually going to add any makeup it looks pretty good in my opinion if need be i'll go ahead and use like concealer but i'm gonna go ahead and cut off the tag right here let's get into this install because i know you guys want to hear where i've been what's been going on so let me go ahead and do this here and then we could chat for the makeup portion i'm actually opting for no stocking cap because this wig is going to be on and off so i really don't i can use the stocking cap to protect my hair or you know just to have that barrier but I could see the stocking cap now like that so I'm gonna just take it off I forgot to also mention that this hair is jet black and I don't think I've ever worn jet black hair but wow you could tell like jet black different from 1B. Like I didn't realize that it was that noticeable, but I could definitely, can y'all can y'all see that this is definitely not 1B? But I already know it's about to hit different. I'm not even worried. I'm not afraid to 
Okay, I'm back. So as you guys can see, I have this band on my head. When I say this thing is tight, this thing is very tight. I cannot wait to take this off. But I did my eyebrows off camera. I haven't done my makeup since December 26th. Today is January 8th. Is today January 8th? Yes, today is January 8th. So when I say, <laughs> I feel like I haven't, I didn't know what I was doing, but we got it done. The brows look good. We shall have a success, a, a success, a successful glow up. I'm ready. I'm claiming it. I'm claiming all positive things. 2022. Okay. Let's go ahead and get into the face. Let's go ahead and, you know, get into this, get ready with me. This chit chat, get ready with me. So I'm going to leave all the items used today down below because I really want to just try to focus on what I'm saying instead of what I'm doing. So I've been going for a minute to be honest. You guys know if you've been keeping up with me. I did a vlogmas, right? Vlogmas really took the life out of me. I felt like I said it in every video, but I pushed through. I did all 25 days and wow, I really need to clean my forehead. I'm gonna need to get some alcohol to do this. But I finished my fourth consecutive year of vlogmas. The day vlogmas finished, well, I finished working on the 23rd of December. If you guys been keeping up with me, you know that I have a new job. I work with kids now. So I work for the Department of Education. So school ended on the 23rd of December. I finished Vlogmas on the 25th of December. And you guys know that I also work at Sephora. I've been doing Sephora mostly on the weekends. I told Sephora that I don't want to see them until like January 9th, January 8th, which would be this weekend. Um, so I was off from everything. I didn't have anything to do, but I still wanted to create content so that when I hop back onto YouTube, which was supposed to be like January 5th, I wanted it to be like the first week of January, like that first Wednesday. Obviously that didn't go as planned. I wanted to have content um, ready. So my plan was to create content that whole week that I was off from the 23rd or the 20. 5th of December to January, I think 3rd or something like that. I want to create content that whole week, but things didn't go as planned. So just to give you the rundown, I think I'm actually going to have another vlog, like a vlog after this video goes live, just so you guys could see what I've been doing because I did record some stuff, but it, I didn't record a lot of stuff. Um, but I am going to create a video or put out a video sharing what I did do in that time, what I was able to do. But, um, on the 26, which was the day after Vlogmas ended, I planned to link with Kendra. So Kendra and I went to get food. We haven't seen each other in some time. Like we were both doing Vlogmas, so it was pretty hard to like keep up with each other. So we decided to go and get food and we also took pictures. That was a Sunday. On the Monday, I took my mom to go and see the Van Gogh immersive exhibition because I know she wanted to do that. That was one of her Christmas gifts from me. So we did that. On Monday, when I took my mom to see the immersive exhibition downtown Manhattan, my throat started to feel a little, just a little wacky. But to be honest, when I went out with Kendra on the Sunday, I kind of didn't dress my best. I was cute, but it was I was showing a little bit too much skin or a little bit too much chest. So when my throat started to feel a little weird, I figured, okay, maybe it's due to how you dressed the day before. So I remember specifically going into, I think it was Walgreens at the time, to get Ricola, just so I would have something to try to suppress the feeling that I was feeling in my throat. On Tuesday now, I'm home and I'm feeling like a little bit, I'm feeling even worse, to be honest. Like I went to sleep after I came home from the Van Gogh exhibition and I'm off from school so you know I could sleep in and stuff but I was just feeling a little like sick and I'm like what is going on still I'm thinking you know I didn't really dress my best so maybe it's due to you know my outfit that I chose on Sunday I started I remember I had like um I was starting to cough a little bit it was like a dry cough um and I was just really tired so I really and truly remember like taking a nap <laughs> on that Tuesday and I hadn't really been doing anything. I was just like scrolling on my phone, probably posting on Instagram. And at this point, I think it's the 20, let me just check my calendar real quick just to make sure. So that was December 28th. So on the 28th, I was still kind of feeling like really weird. Um, and I remember eating, like I still had an appetite. I was eating, but I was sleeping a lot. 
so the next day finally came december 29th and i was like okay i need to take a covid test because just in case just to be safe like i remember the week before i did a lot of gift drop offs to family and friends and i remember not one but like two of the people that i was in contact with the day that i was doing gift drop offs they told me later that they you know tested positive like later on in the week so i'm like okay let me do a covid test being that you know i just heard news that few people that i was in contact with when doing gift drop offs tested positive so one of my friends hey danny if you're watching this hey girl hey please check on your nurse base please check on your healthcare base but i'm not gonna get too deep into that but one of my friends she's a traveling i think she's a traveling nurse or at the moment she's traveling and doing covid tests at different people's homes so i hit her up like hey if possible can you come to my house and give me a covid test so she came god bless her soul because right now omega phi chi um delta like all of them are just running rampant in the streets of new york city and honestly all over the world so i knew that the lines would have been way too long and i didn't really feel like waiting on those lines i didn't really want to leave my house to go and get tested because i just knew i'd be standing outside for a long time and lucky enough she came to my house and did the pcr test so that was on the 29th i didn't get my results until the 30th so on the 30th <laughs> When I say I did not expect these results, I did not expect these results. On the 30th, I tested positive for COVID. Who this band is tight, girl. And when I got those results, I was just like, what? 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 Like alarms are going off in my head, like how? Like, I feel like I'm a very precautious individual, especially during these times. I've always been the individual that even before this whole panorama, like in high school, I would take the train a lot, take public transportation a lot. And as soon as I got home, I mean, as soon as I got home, I washed my hands. I'm not one of those. I'm, I won't even say I'm a gerbophobe, but I'm just very, um, I try to keep things very cleanly, especially when I'm touching my face. I don't touch my face. If I'm outside, I wait until my hands are clean and I'm inside to touch my face. I don't do any of that so when I tested positive I was just like what because during this whole span of this over over these last two years as soon as I get home I wipe my phone when I'm outside I'm always sanitizing I'm always spraying stuff down you know so oh my hand is scratching me money <laughs> so when I tested positive I was like how could I have slipped and caught COVID bro and just given my immune system, like, I don't know if you guys, well, some of my OG triple SGs, you guys know that I'm a cancer survivor. So my immune system is already not <laughs> its best. So I was trying to avoid catching COVID if I had, if it was up to me, like to control, I was really trying to do my best to avoid catching COVID. But at this point, I feel like it's inevitable. I feel like everyone at some point is probably going to, at this point, I feel like it's inevitable, but yes child i tested positive for covid and immediately i'm like what the hell so as soon as i tested positive i was quarantining i'm most likely gonna do the top portion of my phone should i just get the alcohol and clean it now maybe give me one second while patchy pulls himself together I'm back. Mm -mm -mm. so as soon as i tested positive i was quarantining so a lot of you guys don't know but i live with my mom and my dad at the time my dad wasn't home but my mom was home my mom knew and she already works from home so i'm moving like weird because my head is really tight because this band is really tight i'm using alcohol to clean my forehead too and i automatically just like went in my room locked myself in there and was really trying to figure out like how i i don't even want to say let this happen but how it happened like but really and truly, it didn't matter how it happened. The fact was that it happened and now I needed to work, focus on, you know, recovering, getting better. So, honestly, I think after I tested positive, I probably went to sleep. Because when I say, I know for sure, I'm pretty sure, I, I really and truly initially thought I had the flu. Because I had all the symptoms of the flu. I had a runny nose, I had the cough. I didn't have a fever, um, but I remember like, 
having like hot flashes like I would go to sleep and I'd be sweating and I would be I would wake up and I'd be kind of cold and I'd go back to sleep and I'd be sweating but I felt like I was always also like taking natural remedies I was mixing ginger with like the lime juice and the honey and drinking that I was drinking a lot of tea so I felt like maybe it was the flu because my body was trying to sweat it out but it was definitely COVID sis. I went through the motions, like my body was going through the motions. I was sweating, I was coughing, you know, all of the symptoms. But I think that I have had the new strain, which is Omicron or whatever it's called. Um, Omi, Omarion, whatever y'all call it nowadays. Because I didn't have any um, fever. I didn't lose my sense of smell or taste. Um, I didn't really have any body aches either. I feel like my body probably pained me one day and maybe it was because I was just tired. I don't really know, but I didn't really have any body aches either. So it felt like the cold and according to the news, that's what this strain felt like. So I was really just like taking a lot of meds. This thing is so tight. Why did I tie this thing so tight? Can I even untie it? I feel like I'm giving myself a damn headache. I didn't have any headaches either, but all in all, I was just trying to keep myself hydrated and just let the virus run its course and get out of my system. But I was taking a lot of medicine and drinking my at-home remedies and stuff. <sighs> Is that better? Oh, I think that's a little bit better. Still tight, but it's a little bit better. Luckily, no one else in my house, no one in my house tested positive because I really quarantined. I might have to add a little bit more of this whenever I get to that, but I really quarantined. I would put my stuff outside of my door and my mother would come upstairs and get it and you know, replenish whatever I needed. We, I didn't see anyone in my house for those like seven days. New Year's was so depressing for me. I didn't have plans on going outside on going outside anyways like I told myself I wasn't going outside even before I tested positive but it was still like really depressing to me because I felt like I couldn't even like leave my room like I couldn't even go in my mom's room and be like happy new year or whatever it was just not how I planned on entering the new year but <sighs> maybe that's how life works you don't really know what's coming you just got to go with the flow so I remember being very emotional on New Year's and I was watching some people snap some people were outside some people were in their house But it was just like really weird because usually I'm like around like my family or my friends on New Year's These last few years I've been around my family, but it was still weird for me to not be able to like see anyone in my house that night, so I remember being very emotional um, but you know I also feel like my body was I was doing so much for vlogmas like my body was kind of like telling me you need to just sit down and who will I seat be like go relax just take a seat because as I said I had plans to be out and about creating content for you guys for the week of December 26th or 27th to January 3rd but my body was just like no you need to sit down and and just take a minute to rest and i definitely had to sit down stay in my own room and just take a minute to relax school started for me on january 3rd i didn't go back to school this is still tight i didn't go back to school right away because i needed to take a, another covid test and i wanted to ensure that i was negative of course before returning Ooh. <sighs> kind of just want to take it off okay I took it off child I can't I can't it's fine for right now I probably should let it melt a little bit more but oh my it feels so good to not be on my head but I know I need to put it back on right now I need a break <laughs> but I took another test on January I want to say that was January 4th or January 5th was the day that I took another test and it came back negative thank God but I really had to quarantine. I was in my room and during the time that I was in quarantine, that I was quarantined, it really just allowed me to play on my iPad and kind of plan things out just a little bit. 
because during vlogmas i did by myself an ipad if you didn't know then now you know make sure you guys catch up on the vlogmas content because i'm sure a few of y'all missed a few days but that was last year stuff we focusing on new year stuff but still you could go ahead and catch up on that if you haven't but i did buy myself an ipad so i was really i really got the time to play on my ipad because during blogmas when i bought the ipad i really didn't have the chance to really play with it because i was you know creating content and it really allowed me to do that i had time to kind of like reflect on the year that i had because i was really just going and going i didn't really get to reflect on the year but meaning that i had all the time in the world and i was in my room it allowed me to just sit there and think about all the things that i needed to think about so I used that time to reflect on the year that I had. I used that time to try to kind of plan out what I wanted to accomplish in this new year, which wow, we're in a whole new year. It's crazy. I used that time to create my new intro. Let me know how you guys feel about the new intro. I wanted it to be a little bit different. I wanted it to be more more minimalistic, but still have a little touch, a little stush touch to it. So let me know how you guys feel in the intro, but I did use that time to create my intro and create my new outro and my banner and, you know, create a few new graphics for the channel because I really just want every year and honestly every video to just level up in some way. I wanted to create a new experience when you guys watch my videos. So I use the time to do that. I feel like I've been doing my face forever. <laughs> wow, I didn't bring my damn setting powder over here. See, I left everything. I'm gonna just tie it once because I double knotted it earlier and I feel like that was squeezing my brain cells. I think I also tied the band a little bit too short or I cut the band a little bit too short. Okay, I say all that to say, your girl is COVID free. I'm very excited, I'm very happy about that. I'm very happy that I was able to beat it. I'm very grateful that it wasn't like the first strain because I feel like the first strain was the worst. Well, I can't tell you which one is the worst strain I've only feel like I've only had one of them I feel like this one was easier to beat or at least for me I know a lot of people are still battling um so I don't want to say one is easier to beat than the other because I know that everyone's body is different but I'm grateful that I was able to beat it because not a lot of people baby not a lot of people were that fortunate so i'm um, so grateful for my parents my friends my family that checked up on me because believe it or not y'all really held your girl down like i had people checking up on me every single day like how you feeling you doing all right and i appreciate appreciate you guys more than you know because i'm i'm that strong friend okay but sometimes you really need other people to check up on you because no matter how strong you are there will be times of weakness and she was really trying to take me out like no ma'am no ma'am she was really trying to take me out but with all the love and support i was really able to push through and beat sis but again it really felt like just a horrible cold a horrible flu we fought we fought through it but i say all this to say stay safe you guys stay safe and continue to wipe everything down to continue to clean your hands as often as possible because again i tell y'all i'm i'm that person oh wow i didn't even bring that brush up but i love this um i'm the person that does all that and still i contracted it so you just got to take the extra steps, to be honest. Take the extra steps and do what you need to do. And I don't think I mentioned at all, but I am vaxxed. And I know everyone has their own beliefs and stuff on it. But I am vaxxed. I'm not boosted. My parents are vaxxed and boosted. My mom has a very, very, very strong immune system. She was fine. She still is fine. Thank you, God, because I don't know who's going to take care of both of us, to be honest. My dad wasn't home at the time, so probably just been thugging it out together, God forbid, but it all worked out. But again, I say all this to say, stay safe, be safe, be smart. Can't tell y'all what to do, y'all are y'all, y'all are adults, y'all know, y'all are gonna do what y'all need to do. I still have like slight sniffles, but other than that, I'm fine. I never lost my sense of smell or anything like that, but if you hear me sounding a bit congested, that is why. But other than that, 
your girl is a okay your girl isn't back also back at work so yeah back in the full swing of things but my hair wasn't done i literally got my wig yesterday took my locks out yesterday and yesterday we well into the new year now I took my locks out yesterday, I took my nails off yesterday because I still had that old set, that green set from Vlogmas. Um, so I'm really just trying to get everything together now. That's what we're doing today. What else do I need to add to my face? Oh, I need to add highlighter. I haven't done so as yet. Highlighter and on oh, my lippy. How did I, I don't understand like, you know why? I also clean like a lot of my makeup brushes. I clean my makeup brushes. I organize my makeup. Like when I say I did a lot, I got a lot done in my room because when you're in your room for how many days, how many hours, like you have, you choose, you can't do anything else but stuff in your room. So I cleaned out my makeup collection. When I was finally able to leave my room, I washed my brushes because I had brushes from that were dirty from in October. So. <laughs> you do the bath i was rotating brushes because i still had like clean brushes but i hadn't washed brushes since before october like who what's what what's been going on i did all of that and the little little caddy that i have i bought this in from marshall's i like to use this whenever i'm filming videos i just threw stuff in there today to do my makeup while doing my hair for you guys but i forgot my damn highlighter so that's why i'm like what was i thinking today but but i honestly just like grabbed some stuff i grabbed pretty much everything except for my setting powder and my highlighter so i'm gonna have to go grab that really quickly but i did get well i think you guys saw when i got she's expensive because i think did i include that in the vlog i don't know girl the days have just been jumbled since vlog since vlogmas but i got another well i got a full size of she's expensive i think i did include that in the vlog um, from Patrick Ta, which is here, but I still have the mini right here, and I'm really trying to scrape everything out of there, so I don't think I'm going to use that yet. But I did get She's Unapologetic from Patrick Ta as well. This is a really nice looking nude, so I think I'm going to use that today, and then I'm going to top it off with She's Expensive. It's my first time trying this. Again, I haven't done my makeup since December 26th. Today is January 8th, if you do the math. Ooh. Okay. Hmm. She is a light though. Okay. We can make it work though. Mm-hmm. But she is very light. I didn't expect her to be that light. I could be a bit more light-handed next time. Let me see how it looks with she's expensive, or do we need to go back to the drawing board? I'm really scraping out everything that's left. It's cute. A more brown lip liner would have worked as well. This is an eyeliner from Marc Jacobs. It's a bit more black brown than it is brown, like chocolate brown. So I think that's why this lip looks like this too, but I'm not mad at it, to be honest. Um, oh, I need to add my highlighter. Let me grab that really quickly. I'm so mad that I put things all over the place. I swear to God, like the next few videos, we gonna have things, but bear with me, I'm literally been using these last few days to get my life together like serious thing and I initially started to feel bad because I'm like damn YouTube is probably the girls of the gang is probably like where the hell is stush like usually I come back maybe like five days after vlogmas is over but I think right now it's saying that I haven't been on YouTube in like 14 days and that's just not me I'm like they're probably like did she quit did she like, is she not coming back for the new year? But really and truly, you just have to put you first. Like, your health comes first. So, I was just like, I'm going to take this time to just get myself back in order. When I come back, I come back. And then I'm going to add a little bit of this Tower 28 lip gloss just to warm up the lip just a little bit. I think that looks a little better. What do you guys think? And I'm gonna add some brown liner to my eyes to prep it for lashes. Wow. I never really, I really never thought I'd say, like I'd come on camera and be like, oh yeah, I had COVID, but wow. You never really know what life is about to throw at you, beloved. So that's that, that's what happened. Oh, this mascara is so good. I forgot how good this was. I still sound a little congested, but I'm drinking my tea. I bought vitamins. Like, 
I'm just horrible when it comes to taking pills on an everyday basis or taking gummies on an everyday basis, but I really need to get into the routine. And I've been taking my natural remedies as well. Fresh ginger juice, fresh lime juice or lemon juice and honey. And I just try to take a shot of that every day. I was doing that when the pandemic just started, but then I fell off and I'm back now, girl, I'm back. I'm very much so back. So I'm gonna put my lashes on. I feel like I've been recording forever. My battery is on like half, so I probably have to change my battery at some point too. And I am also recording on a new lens. Let me know how you guys are feeling the new lens. It's my first time recording with it as well. This is the lens that I got um, as a Christmas gift from Dorica. This is the 24 millimeter Canon lens. So let me know how you guys are feeling it. You guys are watching it in real time, so let me know. All right, so we are back. Popped on my lashes. This is the style Capriel. Wow, I haven't worn her in a minute. Wow, she looks like it's about time for us to cut this lace off, honey. I might have to add a little bit of makeup to it. I don't know. I might have to add this band back on real quick. I don't really feel like I need to turn put the fly down the um hot comb on it, but I might just to lay the flyaways. But I'm gonna go ahead and Plug up this hot comb. I honestly think I might need another hot comb because this is not even like it don't even get like that hot maybe i need to keep it on for a little bit longer oh it's getting hot now it's steaming now wait a minute i gotta get real close brb intermission girl I don't know how you hear girls do it I don't know how y'all do it I don't know how y'all do it because girls yeah, I'm tired okay I am tired but I'm pushing through but the jet black it already slaps I'm gonna flat iron it it doesn't really need to be flat iron like look at the natural luster of the hair though I didn't add any product to it you guys saw that I only added the Re-nutrient slick stick at the top just to like flatten it out a bit, but I feel like I don't even know if I did anything, girl. I just really helped to lay the flyaways because I had a few, and uh, I'm gonna run the flat iron through it, but it doesn't really need to be flat iron. But I'm gonna do it anyway, just to feel like I did something, very much something. I'm trying to pull the hair out of the band because I tucked the band underneath. Even combing through is like. A breeze but I'm gonna flat iron it just a little bit. I was just using whatever product is left on my foundation brush and I put it at the top but I think it looks fine to be honest wow I haven't been awake in a minute my nose is sweating just a little bit because I'm literally doing all this work 
but it's fine. And I'm not really getting crazy with the flat iron. I literally am just passing it through because why not? I'm like in awe at the natural luster of the hair. I'm not going to lie though. New wig, who this? I know the hair guru is watching this. It's like, probably like, what is she doing? Girl, I don't know. I really want to get better at doing my hair though because paying to do your hair is just crazy. I don't know how y'all do this. I think this is how you do it. Girl, I still don't. Uh, oh, oh, I'm doing it. 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 Period. I think I caused a little crimp in there, but I already forgot what I did. Okay. I ain't about to get fancy. Let me just slide on what I can. I'm literally not going anywhere. I'm going to run some errands real quick, aka run to Target. And that's it. All right, let's do baby hairs. And I think we could start to wrap it up. Not too shabby. I was supposed to leave the hairs out, guys. I forgot. Okay, let me see if I can find them. Woo! Girl! Almost burnt my damn finger off and my damn scalp. Not me already patting the wig, girl. I'm gonna have to just cut new ones because I don't know where the hell they went. Okay, okay, this is the hair you guys. Went ahead and changed my chop, put on some earrings. This is what the hair looks like, but I think it looks really good. I think it's giving scalp. What do you guys think? Definitely let me know how you guys are feeling the hair down below. Let me know how you guys are feeling the face down below. I just did a really simple beat. I haven't done my makeup in a little while. So I just wanted to get on camera and let you guys know where I've been. I have a lot of goals for this channel and I definitely would love to accomplish them this year. I don't really like speaking about my goals until I get them done. So I'm not gonna really tap into it. But I did wanna let you guys know where I've been, why I've been gone for so long. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and end this video out because I've been sitting here for a, a while, a while like over two hours over two hours so i don't want to drag this video out much longer definitely be on the lookout for a lot of new and fun content let me know what you guys would like to see from your girl this year because i'm here to serve you and if you guys enjoyed today's video don't head out before leaving your girl a big thumbs up if you haven't already subscribed make sure you hit that red subscribe button down below back and we're better on our bully if i do say so myself join the winning team like mayweather hopefully He's been winning because that would be a bad, a bad, bad, bad reference. But definitely join the winning team, which is the Stitch Game. Make sure you guys subscribe down below. Turn on your post notifications so that way you're alerted whenever I upload. Right now, the schedule is still the same Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. But if anything changes, I'll definitely let you guys know. 
but your best bet is to turn your post notifications on drop a comment down below let me know how this new year has been treating you so far I know we're a couple days in but I don't want to chat with you guys since it's been some time so definitely drop a comment down below and until the next video I love you guys thank you guys so so much for checking in thank you guys so so much for sticking around for the entire video I love you guys and until the next one I'll see you guys all later bye guys Whoa.